Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share God's Word, followed by Pat's Two Cents. Okay, <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day, everybody. We're going to deal with the tongue, and the reason we're dealing with the tongue is because a lot of mothers have no clue the possible damage that can take place through the words that roll off of our tongues. All right. Starting at verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. You're like, whoa, we got to hear this for Mother's Day? Uh, anyway, back to the word. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. <laughs> Let's go back to Pat's two cents real quick. Then we'll come back to the word. Listen, what we don't, <clears throat> excuse me, what we don't realize is when we say things to children, you can build or you can destroy. I remember years ago, the Lord gave me a dream of a mother who was really hard on her daughter and easy on her son. Now, <clears throat> the difference was, with the daughter, she was very, very, very um, withdrawn. <clears throat> very withdrawn. You can tell the difference by the way people treat their kids. The child that's being encouraged, that... It's loved, enjoyed, cherished, appreciated. Yeah, you can love them both. But children know the difference. So the one that is the most confident, outgoing, relaxed, happy, joyful, and competent, oftentimes is the one who has been the most encouraged by your words and the one who is shy and withdrawn and bound up and and uh, <clears throat> and and standoffish the one who's insecure the one who stutters you wonder where did that come from it could have come from your words from your lack of encouragement, from your lack of approval, and all that child knows coming out of your mouth is criticism, put downs, disdain, discouragement, and total disappointment that you feel in that child. Now, even though you may love them both the, the same, the one that gets your best does their best. The one that gets your worst will not amount to much unless they get in God, God gets in them and starts healing the damage that's been done by your tongue. 
This is what I am asking you to do as mothers. Watch what comes out of your mouth when you know you're getting ready to say something that even though you would enjoy twisting that knife and shoving it in real good where it really hurts. Hold that back and find something beautiful to say. I love you anyway, you old knucklehead. <laughs> Do something positive in place of your yearning to do something negative. This is the reason. Children know the difference between true love, dutiful love, and feigned love. They know the difference. They know when their parent cherishes them, and they know when their parent is strictly tolerating them. Yeah. It may be hard for you because you may have sacrificed a lot. You may have been deeply hurt by that child's father. And if that child looks like their father, you've got issues. But guess what? That child did not create themselves. So however you got them, you got to love them. They are not him. Stop punishing that child for looking and acting like him. Please. You will develop, you will nurture a cripple, a mental and emotional cripple. And you won't realize that all that they're not and all that's wrong with them will mainly be attributed to what you have said, how you have treated them, your attitude towards them, and what you're not willing to give them because they look like him. So inadvertently, you find yourself punishing them for looking like him. I am saying this not to fuss. I am trying to be a voice for your children. Love the children. Don't beat them into the dust. Don't grind them down to powder. Please. Edify them. Don't diminish. Don't sabotage their future success. Don't sabotage their well-being because of your personal issues. That's not fair to them. The one that you hate, you made that choice. You chose to lay down with the one you hate. That child didn't have a nickel in that dime. All that child deserves from you is your best, your love, your caresses, your encouragement, your nurturing, your teaching, your, your approval. <coughs> Excuse me. I say to you mothers on Mother's Day, reconsider how you interact with that one child that stays and lays and rests on your last nerve and ask yourself and ask God why does that child bother me so much and why do I always feel like I must remind them how much they bother me instead of thinking of me 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 me, 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 me. Think about them. Think about the damage. You can do great damage, or you can make, you can create a beautiful model of life and love. Possibilities. It's your choice. 
consider the top.